Noticeable in President Kibaki's naming of the top military commanders on Wednesday was a careful attempt at regional and ethnic balance as required by the constitution in Article 130 and Article 241. The new chief of Kenya's defense forces, General Julius Karangi, hails from Nyeri in central Kenya, while his deputy, Lieutenant General Simon Matete, is from the coast. The army commander, Lieutenant General John Kasaon, has roots in the Rift Valley. His comrade in charge of the Air Force, Major General Geoff Otieno, has roots in Nyanza, while Navy Commander Major General Ngewa Mukala comes from Eastern. The regional balance had to be delicately weighed against these men's ranks. But now focus is on the top jobs which Kibaki is empowered by the Constitution to fill. Top among these is the office of the Attorney General, which falls vacant at the end of next month. Pandits argue that the president might stick to his earlier choice of Dr. Gidu Muigai for Attorney General. Muigai had been nominated in the controversial nominations in February, which also included nominees for the Chief Justice, the Director of Public Prosecutions, and the Control of Budget. The nominations were later withdrawn. In regard to the nomination of the Attorney General, I have invited the Right Honorable Prime Minister for further consultation. Eyes are also on Kibaki as to whom he will choose as the first independent inspector general of the National Police Service, who shall be the boss of both the regular and administration police. The office has to be filled within the next one year. The president also has to appoint an auditor general and the controller of budget. In all of these appointments, the constitution requires that the president sends the names of the persons he has chosen to parliament for approval before making the appointments. Kibaki's administration has received criticism in the past for appointments to crucial security positions considered to be favoring certain ethnic communities.